This video is paid for in part by NordVPN. Hey, you ever walk down an alley, feel a little bit unsafe because it's dark, you never know what's going to happen, you know, don't feel too secure? But what if I told you that technically every single time that you log on to a public Wi-Fi spot, you're kind of in a similar level of danger digitally, with all your information. Information pertaining to your money, your location. You know, the same things you'd kind of be worried about down the alley. Well, you know, that and getting stabbed, but shush. What if I told you all you had to do was go to nordvpn.com slash tier and use the code tier, and you'd end up completely safe from things like that for three years with 77% off. If that doesn't sound like a good deal to you, I pray for your significant other trying to please you in the bedroom. And I should probably point out, this isn't just for the sake of security. You got a whole bunch of perks for it as well, really, when you think about using it in all the different ways that you can. For instance, Netflix. You like the shows on there, but oh, the thing that you really wanted to watch was licensed to a different country. Well, click there, you're in that country, you get to watch it, nothing's changed, and there you go, it's all there, legally binding, you have it free for you to watch. Well, you know, free except for the price of clicking. Same thing goes for a whole bunch of the online media. You're in the wonderful US of A, you're trying to keep up with the playoffs or whatever your particular sport is. I won't pretend to know it. I'm an England boy. I, I don't even care about football. Well, if you had to leave the country for whatever reason, and you usually be locked out of it with NordVPN, you wouldn't be. Having trouble getting HBO to work in your specific region? Not anymore. Or you could just simply have fun with it. You could go on a YouTube and see what's trending whatever region. Point is, it's not only an all-encompassing deal that keeps you protected. Keep access to all your online media when you're going across seas for work or vacations or whatever, and even giving you more access to said media for more bang for your buck. You also get a fun little toy to screw around with the things like YouTube and, hell, just Twitter. You can make a dumb joke like around the world in 80 tweets. You know, like I did. I'm so bloody original. So yeah, get in while the going's good on this whole VPN thing. It's not just a corporate tool, it really is just something that keeps you protected on your phone, on your laptop, on your anything. Anything and everything can be protected these days, and that way you feel a hell of a lot safer when, uh, I don't know, logging into public Wi-Fi at VidCon. So your YouTube channel doesn't end up being hijacked temporarily. Temporarily rest in peace Boogie's account for their couple of days. You are the unfortunate victim from which we learn. So yeah, go to nordvpn.com slash tier and use code tier and get yourself on this for three years at 77% off. It's a hell of a bargain all things considered. YouTube in 2018 is always a funny one, you know? You have a vlogger, makes a 40 minute episode, decides to make a couple of edits and actually has a point to it other than, hey, my day was great. Next thing you know, it's been a called a documentary. A documentary. Because you held the camera up and you spoke into it and you showed things that was of a formulated nature, that's real nice. If, if, if that is a documentary, then I am currently filming the reincarnation of King Tut's tits! <sighs> you know what the biggest kicker of this? Of being kicked in the back and then stabbed while you're down on the ground by the same dude that kicks you in the back is? You know what, you know what the worst is? When they go ahead and take the goddamn overlord spot, I can't get to them without going through an obstacle course of Uruk genitals. What I'm saying is, I'm gonna get this boy, but I have no idea what it's gonna goddamn be. The amount of hurdles in my way, I am liable to lose my kneecaps in the process of trying to get over them all. Knowing me, through them all, I am not the most graceful, despite the name. All right, so we killed Gubu the one. Now we're gonna kill Morg the other one. And if I've got time and I'm not betrayed wholeheartedly, constantly, I'll also get the only one. You dwell in the Tower of Sorcery. You realize you said this to me last time we spoke, right? Which was maybe all of 40, 50 minutes ago in the, in the land of Talion. Why would you repeat yourself so forcefully? Is, is it for the joy and the hope and the prayer of death by repetition? Because if you want to go down that path, I'd thoroughly subscribe to the idea of just giving him a Call of Duty game every day. Mm hmm am I cool now that I pooped on the popular thing? Wait, wait till you hear my joke about PewDiePie! You know, you look real cool, I gotta give you that much. Like, for real, you, you actually look fantastic. I'll tell you what, my very sexy-eyed boy, I may not kill you, because you're just the other one. How about I make you the only one? Eh, me and you? Turn it on. The other is what I wanted to say, and I realized that's your name. I just don't know his actual name. So the other other one, the soon to be other one, soon to be dead one. But to see how your dead comrades treat their old master. Do you really want to be going down that path, considering what just happened to you? When your living comrades treated you also wonderfully atrociously? Are you... <laughs> Italian has no self-awareness nor subtlety. <laughs> And again, when you, when you walk around dressed like this, I don't know why that's a surprise to me. Hey! Hey? Mordor needs to be cleansed of your presence, and nothing cleanses better than fire! Oh Christ, it's him again. Wait, were you not actually immune to fire? That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Oh, I mean, it's it was a it was a tall, tall order. Bit of a fever dream. Oh, well, okay, he's immune to everything. It's all right. You know what, I really wish that I could recruit you and I could have them all ten of you, huh? It's a number joke. Do you like it? I don't know how I got away with not being hit there. You ain't all that in a bag of potato chips, Mr. Moulton. You're really not. The only reason you got me 
if we could even call it that. Because I was distracted. I didn't know what I was goddamn doing in that moment in time. And you stole credit of somebody else's kill. I forgot about that one. You? Your legacy means nothing. Except for the fact that you're very hard to kill, because when you get close to being killed, you say, no, actually, I don't feel like being killed today. Which I had that goddamn ability that wasn't just me being on my knees and pressing a button to delay it. Uh oh. Oh, good. Oh, you miserable maggot, stop crawling around. Don't you men have spines? Get up! Oh, you didn't kill me when you could have done. Yeah. Uh, what the? I'm sorry, I was in the middle of a- Oh, I was in the middle of having my health just decimated. Just like a lazy club, less lying, more dying. Get up! Why is your lip syncing so bad when humiliated? You know what, maybe I should stop talking. You're not worth the nicks you put in my blade. To be fair, I do believe all of the nicks that currently exist within it are there because of me. I was down about four times in the past two seconds. Mainly because I decided to make a punchline instead of throwing a punch. Hey boys, I figured out how to do the, the thing that I needed to do for the past five minutes. Would you mind if I got my might up on you, please? Hey, I did it. It only took me ten minutes. Don't tell anyone, Will. That's a big boy. And nothing to say. Oh, that's why he had nothing to say. Thank you, Rock Crusher. I forgot you were mine. I was going to make a comment that it was a bit dangerous having an open front next to that fire tank, but hey, it works for the best. Don't kill him! I need him, you fucking pleb! I know you called the Crusher, but do me a favor and don't crush my dreams. Crush the. You maggot! Yes? You miscalculated your odds. It'll cost you dear. I don't give two shits! Shut your gun mouth! Stop flapping your pussy lips in my direction! Wait, I can't take him on my side because he's a bloody war chief. Really? Oh, come on, please! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's the end of that one. That's... Oh. Mog got mugged off. He just went ahead and just took a first-class ticket all the way through the air. Hey, he had a blast of a time while he was up there, but when he came crashing down, we found out he had no pulse. That's a shame, that's my plan in ruin. Ah, well, all right, it's fine. My boy will take his place as he's being beaten and battered and bludgeoned to tits, bits and shits from a boy with fucking Lego bricks for weapons. Come on! Oh, he's just full on haymaking him under the dirt, and he's still doing better than I am health-wise. Is he dead? Oh, look, crush. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame he got tangled up in someone else's fight, Mr. Webbreaker. I'll be the dead now available. What? What's that about? Draw out the wolf chief by turning his dead. Oh. What? I just killed. What does that mean? I'm actually quite confused by this. What do you mean it's back again? What? Well, I'm very confused. I must say, you do a mission once, you raise an army of the dead to make the particular leader of another army dead, and next thing you know, you're being told to do the old thing again from the start, and you're not really too sure why. Grisha the Shredder? Why were you promoted so soon? You kill my boys and raise them from the dead. So not only do I have to kill you, I have to kill them again. There's no end to it with you. Someone talking about shit coming back from the dead. Named Shredder. If that isn't goddamn funny, I don't know what is, but excuse me. I literally just did this seconds ago. As I went to enact the next one, this just re-emerged its stupid face. So while it may be a different boy, I can't say I appreciate it. You've got a fight now, don't you? You must have a death wish! Oh, it's funny because I brought your friends back from the dead. Oh, I do wish you'd shut up. Yeah! Raised by injury. All right, well, first off, my cameraman is inside that cage. He can take the goddamn mantle of injured. Secondly, you were tickled by my blade by accident! I don't want to hear shit! Oh, in raised by execution and immune to it. Work that one out in the order that it just occurred, and please tell me how that's fair. Invader! What? You slay that beast of Morto with your arse! <laughs> I think that's the first time I've heard him say that word. You shame that beast with your arse. Me, however, me take hammer to it. This moment of pride. What the hell is the matter with you? You can't come in here and defend the beast that I bludgeon, and then bludgeon it more- <clears throat> If the odds weren't arduous enough, I have a big boy that is a contradictory goddamn logical conclusion of absolute fucking bollocksery and... And it's still two and one, and I can barely hurt the first one. Thank you for killing him, Ducky Darling. Oh, he's arrow-proof as he stands on my cat's head in slow motion. Sure is a good thing I only need about five more years to pass. I mean, it would birth an unborn shadow baby for me to be able to do that again. I'm gonna wait for one of the... 
Okay, I'm not gonna wait that long. I was gonna say I'm gonna wait for one of them to come up here. Next thing you know, fucking Usain Bolt. Oh, ascends the tower. Let me move! Oh, that's embarrassing. I put all this hard work into killing you. You didn't, you stole it! You should at least know my bloody name. It's Borgu, and I want it to be the last thing you hear. I'm afraid no matter what, even if this were my final life, my, my, my final sound that would cross my, my ear, earlobes, go into the drum, and be processed into my brain would be the sigh of disappointment I have that I died again. All right. I've had enough. All you pricks that just got involved in my fight, I am putting you down for good. And when I say I, I mean the guys that I've succumbed to the power of mind rape. So you could be killed by somebody else. That's when I'm going after someone, I'm killed by somebody else as well. Nobody actually gets killed by the target. No one. No one at all. I'm constantly killed by my fucking distraction. Do you have any idea how annoying that is? Imagine being a police officer and chasing a very high value target for the local police department. You get hit by a goddamn drunk driver. This is my life every time on this. Every time! Caracals are gifts to us from the Dark Lord. Do not forget this. No, Caragors were born around in the woods when they fucked each other. You, you put them in a cage. Sauron made a tower or watched you and made you do everything that he told you. Love! Wait, what? So this is where scam like you hide out, is it? Why the hell is an Uruk that looks like Walder Frey bambushing my guy? You think you're tough? You know nothing of that! Well, I've come back from the dead about 3,000 times, and meanwhile, you your hairline can't even regenerate itself. Only fools talk when they should be fighting. This is the wisdom of Sauron. Yeah, and as a guardian, that makes total sense with your title. Enraged. Please don't tell me you're enraged by Frost. It's the one way I get around. Oh no, just everything! That seems much more manageable! Dear God, this is a fucking mess of epic proportion! One of the simple things, one of the simple fight to level up my boy. Simple fight to even the odds. Simple fight to get rid of a goddamn hurdle and a blocking point for me. And also getting a little bit of benefit of winning a fight and having a dude that was powerful because of it. But no! I had to have somebody ambush. I had to have a gaggle of cats just come in and claw my balls off. Mr. Warden? Mr. Mr. Oh, Mr. Warden just chucked a spear in the Guardian's butthole and then he went ahead and did the nay nay. All right, then it's just. Guess our own kids. <laughs> the gift of Caragor's death gives the the gift of dance. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, oh Jesus Lord! Okie dokie, that was immediately after the last victory panel and he went ahead and got another one. Didn't even level up because of that, he gives that little of a- Did he just clear the whole field? Did you just clear the whole field? <laughs> and it looks like his health is regening. There's a growl coming, I believe we should both skedaddle. Okay. Mr. Warden, I'd like to give you some training orders if thou wouldn't mind. I now pronounce you, uh, milk and chocolate, because you're legendary. Ah, uh, you're immune to execution. You're poison proof. You hate Karagors and you're power crazed. What? Oh my god, I think I found my ace in the hole. I'm pretty sure you're unkillable, so I'm gonna go ahead and use you to infiltrate the ranks of the assholes, and you will be the boy to kill them, not me, and then I can level up, and you can level up with me, and then we will rise the ranks, take this sword back, and I'll give it to you. Although, honestly, I'd rather put you in my garrison and take you with me forever and always, but, uh, don't always get what we want now, do we? Oh, no, 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 no. Is it one of these missions for real? You better not underestimate me. I want a good fight. I'm more than ready for another victory. You know, usually I'd be afraid, but him being one level higher than him actually works out because my dude gets enraged by that. Or at least he would do in any other normal circumstance where he's not in this stupid gimp arena where apparently nothing that should trigger does trigger. Who knows though, maybe I'm completely shit stinking wrong. I just can't tell. He said it was power hungry or power crazed, and when someone's a higher level than him, he will get he will become enraged, but right now in this moment, I don't see him glowing red with rage. I just see his caragor being beaten to piss and back. Because Oh no, wait, there it goes. There it is. His kitty had to die for him to Take a knee. You give him great strength, you give him someone a higher level than him, and next thing you- Oh, that complicates matters. And now he's on fire, which is exceptionally weak. <sighs> Please don't do this to me. Don't do it when his health is so low. Not when he's so high level and of high significance, please. Please get up! GET UP, PLEASE! I put so many high pressure, high value, high- Hey, power things into you with with the with the training orders. Please don't waste them now. And there it is.
he died while I stood up there on that rock with the big sphincter hole for me to look through so I could see the feces as they come through the tunnel and plop out into the underbelly of the fighting pit. And my miasma of misery and disappointment falls to the ground as this dilapidated sack of dildos beats him to death and I just have to watch. I could find more use with a goat stranded out at sea than I could at these fighting pits. I could eat part of the goat. I could gut it out, hollow it, remove most of the things and the structural integrity except the ribs, sit inside it and use it as a boat. I could eat its eyes. I could French kiss the tongue. And I could fuck the butt. I don't see any point in this feature robbing me more than I would be if I were a goddamn fucking homeless man with a million dollars in my pocket as a gaggle of thieves surround me with the ships and play connect the dot with my wounds. I could honestly find a more poignant point to rotting smurf scrotum to a viciously receding hairline on a mannequin. I could garner more enjoyment from gone off mayonnaise and a bullshit bun. And if it weren't fitting enough that this feature tears another part of my enjoyment away, my broken heart is now consumed by Mr. Bubo over there. By the way, if you think you've gotten away with this, allow me to use the title of my boy one last time to commemorate him as we're never going to be able to get any use from him whatsoever. I'm a vengeful boy. So you have dogs your own grave and you have what done fucked up? that like button. Give it a little bit of a tap with the shovel, please, because my heart breaketh more the, the, the second I play this. Thank you for watching. Support it any which way you want to goddamn. Feel free to follow me on Twitch at Tira Grace and at Twitter at Tira Grace, because those are the things that I'm on that will help you keep up to date with the channel. Thank you for watching. Hope you watch another. Appreciate you very much. And I am actually fucking dead inside.